So these are some tweets that have been uncovered, some new tweets from Pablo Pair that have been uncovered, man. Um, um, and we'll go through her tweets, man. Um, this is all I can find. This story fucking died, man. There's no talk about whether they was friends, whether she knew him, whether he followed her. That's that hasn't been clear. It just dropped. So this is Pablo LaPair tweet from um when is this? Okay, May 17th. Okay, this this year. She said a good example of how AI models become biased. The images fed to this model for faculty will be mostly white people because academia is very white. The model doesn't have its own bias per se. It rather reflects society's biases, historical and current, which is easier to fix, which is easier to fix. She said, so she, she, she retweeted this. Look forward to speaking in Kansas for the Black Entrepreneurs of Flint Hills, a newer entrepreneurship group. Okay, yeah, she keynote speaker, this black dude. Okay. And she said, couldn't agree more. The earlier you can intervene on issues of ecosystem equity, the less likely those problems are going to become permanently embedded in the culture. It's awesome to see new tech clusters arise, but not if they all they share all the same problems as the past. I guess those problems being being white. Then she said, um, <laughs> you shout out to Beast Life over 50. Platinum Pig Operation Hall of Famer says, I accept five dollar challenge accepted, and I raise you five more. Salute to Platinum Pig, man. She said, every article about a black, brown, female, low income or otherwise, underrepresented founder succeeding despite all of the obstacles put in their way should not be cause for celebration of how far we've come, but a reminder of how far we need to go. Yeah, she was obsessed with black people. Damn. I'm about to say, I'm about to say that, man. Sound like she's for the sun. It sounds like everything's around revolves around the sun with her. She said, I'm sorry, but if your investment thesis says anything about a dedication to investing in underrepresented founders and your portfolio page is 95% white men, kindly reevaluate yourself. <laughs> <God. laughs> she banging on white men, man. That's who would have helped your ass. I bet you would have let a white man in there in your building. He wouldn't have fucking killed your ass. Real shit. He may have, but it would have been a less chance. It would have been way less chance that, it would, that he would do this um, in Baltimore. Boy, Kachina, Ock Nation Hall of Famer, says, Ebony Alert, hit that thumbs up. <laughs> yeah, man. The Ebony Alert, man. Find this white woman, man. <laughs> um, they make hey, they, Paula, <laughs> hey, listen, man. Why, hey, hey, according to that 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 news story, man, Palmer could could qualify for Ebony Alert. Press one. We should have did. Well, she should have been alerted by that Ebony dude. <laughs> she, you know, she you, know <laughs> you know, just to remind me of of like when all the what? women were fighting for like. For like all the trans rights and when all the dudes came into the sports now they're complaining and shit <laughs> yeah. yeah that's true man like this shit came at her fast too man it's like yo when are these tweets from she's 26 yeah so these are from from these are like starting in 2003 now that's one of the 2001 so she's tw she was 26 so she didn't she just got out of med school she just started her life, man. She was she she hit the ground running with this woke shit. She says there's definitely not enough conversation about the canvas debacle. Two white guys raised fifty million dollars without trying for their diversity recruiting platform, while dozens of black and brown founders 
can't get funding for the same. There's a crisis in VC, and we are not talking about it. Also, she she just mad that she ain't raised that money. She wanted to be the only one to raise money for black people. <laughs> she mad the white guy, the white guy raised million dollars for, for black people, man. She should be happy, man. She should be like, she you know what I'm saying? She'd be like, man, thank you guys, man. Yeah, for, for raising that money for black people, man. I was trying to raise money for black people too, man. Salute to y'all, man. She like, nah, I won't be the one to save black people. Yeah, I mean, she want to be that face. Yeah. Take all the credit. Hating on white men, man. God damn. She says, this panel was fantastic. Amazing insights into the importance of creating equitable entrepreneurial communities. Our economy and society will be materially harmed if we do not commit to creating more equitable funding opportunities. Okay. Shit. That's all she talked about, man. Yeah, man. It seemed like I t- I think she just was into like the sun people. Like she's just into the culture. I don't know. Shit. Yeah. She's don't love the sun. She, she, actually, she, actually, she actually would not have let a white man into her building. That's true. She would have said, Do you have a key? Where do you live? She <laughs> like, sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's, true. that's true, man. So the white guy, man, uh, yeah, man, just call. Um, this is the call box is right there. Let that brother right on in, man. She let in the goddamn like the one percent guy of all fucking seven What an unlucky broad, man. I think she. No, I think she was fucking with him though. I don't think she, I don't think it was I like. No, they saying that, you know what? It, it, it makes more sense that he followed her. Because the day he came back the next day, remember? And, f- and tried to follow another woman in there. Because they hadn't discovered her body. They didn't disco- He killed her on Friday on the roof. And they didn't discover her body till Monday. She was missing. Mm. She was up there on the roof rotting. And, um, and mm. um, so he came back on Saturday and was following another woman. And she was smart. She was like, she told, she said, um, she said, she, uh, uh, I, I, I just didn't feel right. Something about his energy wasn't right. She ain't let him in the that, building. She sounds figured, racist. She figured, she figured. But that don't mean, but that don't mean that she wasn't. But that don't mean that it, it wasn't fucking around. Like he could have just came back for seconds for somebody else. No, he thought. No, he thought the building was easy pickings, man. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it could be, but we won't know because they dropped the story. But I think, I think that is, it was. He just followed her. But this, you know, like she doing all this stuff. I don't even think she had time for a boyfriend, man. Especially yeah, but not one like don't, that. Don't forget, but don't forget about her parents keep on hiding a relationship between her and the dude. We don't know. I mean, we'll we'll, fi- we'll find out when the trial starts because that's probably the next time they're gonna talk about it. Um, <laughs> if they talk about it, yeah. This one says. One of the most thrilling cross geography ecosystem initiatives we've come across in our mapping work. Really game changing work being done at the Build with BIA around supporting black entrepreneurs and organizations. Check them out if you haven't. They don't don't really like to let the inconvenient information about some of these cases come out. Yeah. This one says, this is game changing. The funding and space needed to thrive for Baltimore black owned businesses. Thank you, Fearless B More and Downtown Balt for recognizing and taking down barriers. You are true stewards of Baltimore's <laughs> entrepreneurial sector system. Listen, man, ain't no fucking barriers, man. <laughs> Fuck right. is she talking about? Yeah, yo, I, what will we do without the gliders? God bless the gliders. Well, you know, you know, you know how they have uh, gay dar, right? She she didn't have any black dar. That's what her problem. Sundar. Like, like, what, 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 what will we do without glider man here, for example? Such a swell fella. <laughs> I've been uh, struggling to understand what her company does. 
and I've been looking at it, and it's essentially... It doesn't do anything. That's the secret. Yeah, it just it just hoards really. money, and then they all these people it's do good. is they get venture capital, and then they cash out, sell the company. It turns into nothing. Yeah, it's a platform mm. where like give money to POCs and shit. Mm, she was trying to sell. She's gonna try to sell. This is one of the yeah. They, these people do this. Uh, this is like the sexy thing to do in tech is to start a cool startup. And then you sell it for like ten million dollars. You pocket like six million of that, and then you're done. By the time you're like thirty-two. Mm, so she was using black people for. Like, yeah, this is a grift. Yeah, she had this badass idea for a company where it's like you know you create programs for some people, mm. ecosystems, and, and shit. give them money. Programs. And you don't get any money back because they don't do shit with that. Programs. Companies who make their team. Page is black and white and obscure the fact that 99% of the team is white is hilarious to me. Damn. She gonna play. She, she says, you're right. And then, well, then the Sun Man said, it's not how I have been. It's how companies have treated me that brought me to this. I've worked twice as hard as many mm. you know, and gotten as quarter as far. If you're white, you would get that far. I wouldn't, no matter how hard I work. Okay? Oh, that's right. So then she come back and say, you're right. I've absolutely had an advantage <laughs> because I'm white. And you do have to work harder, and that's absolutely unfair. But also, my COO and founder is a black dude from Baltimore. Our head of engineering is black. 30% of our team is black, including many managers and engineers. Well, then why don't you hire him then, motherfucker? <laughs> right. Yeah. A lot of shit ain't fair, evidently. Yeah, man. Jeez. This actually really hurts the... Like, when you think about what her company was about, this just flies in the face of everything she stood for, and it makes this whole black entrepreneurship and black communities thing look bad. It, it, th th this could really cost the city like millions of dollars in potential investment when they I see this kind of stuff happen. Oh, yeah. Her getting backed out like that. Yeah. She said, but she did say, this is such a good summary of why I love Baltimore. It's absolutely a community more than a city. And you feel that difference. I bet you. Yeah. You, you yeah. Felt <laughs> yeah. She felt all of Baltimore that day. Yeah, man, god damn. Um, she met she ran into goddamn Slim Charles, Omar. <laughs> <laughs> all in one man. She, she she ran Marlo, Chris, fucking Chris. Marlo fucking <laughs> Snoop. <laughs> god please. She ran into all them all in one time, man, wrapped up in the one dude, man. And she, 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 yeah, she know all about it, man. Um, Billingsley coming. <laughs> <laughs> Facts, man. Yeah, man. Um, oh, That's man. Big. Look at some man right there, Chief. Shit, man. Yeah, man. Um, I, I love these tech companies, man. I'm on, I'm on her page, the, uh, the company's page, and I do not understand a thing that they try to do, not a thing they're selling. Yeah, this is because they're not selling anything. Shout out to IRS, man, and shout out to John Arnott. He said, "Here, get some wallpaper." Ugh. Yeah, man. Um, Yo, if it ain't the chair, it's somewhere else, right? Right, man. I just got this new chair, man. It's fresh chair. So I was looking at this, man. Um, it says, the victim Pavel up here wasn't white. You can immediately tell from her facial traits that she's Jewish. Juice crew. And her first and last name give her race away. Pava is a Juice Crew feminine first name, and Lapier is a made-up surname that was changed to sound Goyish. <laughs> yeah. Is that true, Fish? Yeah, I said that on another stream about her, like, last week. Oh, yeah. Her first name is Ashkenazi Jewish. 
Damn. Well, well, I mean, to be fair, you could kind of see that shit from a mile away, though. I mean, they kind of have the same tendencies. Yeah, the way she was like, she was she was capitalizing on blackness more than black people. Could, like, it's a Find shame. That's some black man up her mind. <laughs> <laughs> Like she would have been better off though. Like her odds of being a survivor would have been better off in Israel. She she could have got lost in the crowd or some shit. Her she odds would have been, been much better under Rocket Barrage. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, yeah well, I mean the the Juice Crew knows that some people aren't gonna accomplish jack shit as a collective in America, other than to tear America apart. And so that's why they're so hell bent on getting some people in charge of as many things as possible because then it'll all go to shit and they can all go back to Israel and live in fucking Gaza or wherever else they take. That's the plan. Wow. Hey. So far, so good, man. So far, it's working. Until people decide to uh, stop being stupid goy. <laughs> Yo, I, I, bet, I bet the face busted out the cocoa butter. For all these uh, Israel videos, <laughs> I was right. Hey, I what did I uh, what did I say Israel was gonna do? What do you mean to Gaza? Coolness? We kind of have after it happened. Oh yeah, after it happened, yeah, they they gonna scorch earth, man. Yeah, the the Israeli defense minister just said today we're going into Gaza. We're cutting off their water, their food. We're taking all of it. Yeah, Pavel, Pavel, man. I wonder what Pavel would have thought about that, man. Pavel would have probably been with Palestine. Mm. I bet. No, no. No, 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 they don't do that. They don't go that way. No, no, no. It's two different different sets of rules. It's two different sets of rules. Mm. POCs, Palestinians of combat. (laughs) Mm. 